Hey everyone, Tom with TK Designs here. As you may be aware, Vectric released version 12.5 of its product line, including VCarve Pro and Aspire. While checking on some of the features that were improved, I noticed an anomaly within VCarve's VCarve Inlay Toolpath. In this video, I'll show you what I discovered and how I was able to quickly resolve it. Okay, so in VCarve uh, 12.5, the initial update was to vcarve 12.502. Uh, in this version, what I realized is if I'm working with the vcarve inlay toolpath, we have some issues. Well, so I'll show you what those issues are. I go ahead and create a inlay. And we will start by making a vector and go ahead and make that 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. And now we can create a V-carve inlay tool path. And I'm going to use my Speed Tool 1005 bit, and we're going to set, or we'll select those tool paths, and we will make the glue gap 1.65 millimeters and the surface gap 2.65 millimeters because those are what works best for me. And we'll use a 1 8 inch sharp row bit and offset our vector by 5 millimeters. And we'll go ahead and calculate out the tool path. And what we'll see is that we have four tool paths here. We have the four tool paths and when we look at those a little more closely here in a second you'll see what the issue is. Okay so if we open up our plug what you'll notice is that instead of creating a V-carve inlay tool path and having a surface gap and a glue gap, it gives us cutting depths and doesn't allow us to edit those. So if you've looked at my previous videos, you've seen that uh, I like to manipulate these values in order to get a proper fit for the inlay plug. So that's where the issue is with the program. I did contact Vectric via email and they were quick to respond and say that they were able to recreate this issue in their labs. Uh, later, earlier today, I received an email back from Vectric again saying that they have a new version out, which is version 12.503, and that should clear up the issue. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. I'll go off camera here and upgrade the software and we'll see if it fixes the issue. Okay, so I've got the 1203 installed now. 12.503 installed, excuse me. And we'll take a look at the release notes real quick. And we look here down at the bottom of the updates. This is the issue that I found and reported and it's now officially fixed into the program. So let's go ahead and try to create a new V-carve inlay toolpath. Do this the same way. We'll go ahead and drag this over so that when we create the inlay it doesn't overlap. And we can go ahead and switch over to our tool path, highlight our vector, and create our V-carve inlay tool path. We'll do it with the same bits and we'll go ahead and calculate that out. And then we see we have our four tool paths again. Let's go ahead and open our tool path up. And there we have it. 
the problem is fixed. Hey, I want to especially thank Vectric for promptly responding to my request for assistance and replicating the bug in their labs. This was by far the fastest I've ever received support from any company to an email request sent. Thanks everyone for watching, and if you found the video to be useful, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel for additional content. In the meantime, here's some videos that I think you'll enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.